Creating a surface inspection is easy with Power Inspect. First, select the Surface Inspection Group icon and then click points on the surface. In this example, a point on another surface has deliberately been chosen to highlight Power Inspect's collision detection ability. Once you have accepted the points, a brown star on the surface inspection group highlights any potential collisions. This is also highlighted on the path itself, allowing you to easily identify collision zones. The Reuse Inspection Group icon can then be used to easily correct any collisions. The easiest method to measure geometry is with the wireframe checker. Right clicking allows you to switch between measurement types. Clicking the surface on the cylinder will automatically generate a probe path. Once the probe path strategy has been generated, it can easily be edited from within the features tab on the left hand side. Here, the number of slices in the Z direction and the number of points have been reduced. Switch back to wireframe mode allows you to measure a circle with ease. After selecting the points to measure, the View button can be used to display the whole probe path. Changing the start range of this probe path will edit which points are shown. Geometry that requires new probe head angles can also be easily measured in Power Inspect. In this example, the cylinder cannot be inspected with the current probe head angle. For this reason, no probe points are created on the probe path. To adjust the probe head, simply select Use New Angles from the Features tab and set the new A and B angles. Power Inspect also has a range of embedded probe paths to select from. With the current probe path, a collision will occur between the probe and the fixture. To account for this, the probe strategy can simply be changed to user defined. This allows you to move the probe points that collide and other probe points remain unchanged.